Come, Holy Spirit, come. Flow, Holy Spirit, flow. Welcome to our Thursday devotion. It is another warm day as we explore Paul's list of the gifts of the Spirit. Today we are looking at the word joy. Yesterday we worked at, looked at the word love and realized that the love that Paul was talking about and that what Jesus explained to his disciples was a sacrificial love for your neighbor, for your enemy, and for the whole world. And today we will be looking at a new definition of the word joy. So our scripture, will will start off with Galatians 5, and then Anne has a few more to add to that. So Anne? So our foundational scripture from Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and verse 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against things like this. So we look at the second fruit of the Spirit, which is joy, and because we love the Lord Jesus and we follow His commands, I wanted to share with you from His words, from the Gospel of John, um, basically in the same section that I read from yesterday. Jesus said, if you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy will be in you and your joy will be complete. The Word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. As in love, yesterday when we talked about the fact that Jesus had a slightly defin different definition and understanding of what a joyful life was like versus what we in the secular world have come to understand joy as a feeling that comes about uh, because of the way our day is going. So unlike happiness, which is what I believe is what we talk about when uh, we have a good day that makes us happy, joy is gladness that is completely independent of the good or bad things that happen in the course of our day. So in other words, you find joy in being a Christian. You find joy in the fact that God loves you, that your family loves you, that Ann and I love you, that joy comes to you and fills your heart and actually allows you to get through these difficult times. That joy of knowing that Jesus is your Savior. Joy, in some ways, denotes a supernatural gladness given by God. That if we have a connection with God, there's a certain amount of joy that fills our lives, even in the hard times. And this is a product of fixing our focus, our prayer life, our waking life, our everyday going about business life on the works and the love of Jesus. So the fruit of the Spirit, that feeling of joy, comes from knowing that you are guaranteed eternal life. That Jesus has paid the price for your sin. You can be filled with joy even when you're sad. I know that sounds like quite the contradiction. But even in these hard times of isolation and separation, we can have the joy of God surround us and fill us. So that even when times are difficult and we have to struggle or we're feeling isolated and alone, we know that God is with us. We know that our loved ones are with us in spirit, if not physically. And so we can be joy-filled people, even in these difficult times. So with that, as we look at the numbers, there's not a lot of happiness in today's numbers, but we can be joyful that God is going to get us through it. And? In the world, as of 9.30 this morning, there are 12 million, over 12 million cases wow. of people who have been diagnosed with COVID-19. The United States, of course, is the country that, with the most cases in the entire world, with Brazil, India, and Russia as the next three or four. And I, think, I forget the fifth one. But those are the um, overall numbers. I want to look at Iowa today. We have 33,121 cases. That is an increase from yesterday 
of 733, a very large increase. We have had eight more deaths for 740 deaths. The, the number that is sort of scary for us, I think, in the Muscatine County area is that uh, Muscatine has been averaging two cases a day, you might say. Sometimes it went up to seven, and sometimes it would go yeah, back down to two, around bouncing there. around. Never got over eight in the last two weeks that, that I can I, look I would say almost that. the last month. But. Yeah, probably so. I only looked at the yeah. last two weeks. But um, since yesterday, there have been 26 new cases in Muscatine. Quite the spike. It's quite the spike. So that brings the total cases in Muscatine to seven, 676. There was one more in Cedar County, which brings its total to 86. So if you look at the two-week status, Muscatine has had 81 new cases and Cedar 18. So 81 today, yesterday was 50, 60, so you can see the... Quite the jump. Quite the jump. That's basically it. So with all of that, and that's a lot to put upon our hearts, especially as we got through June and things were looking really good and the days were adding up that we could look towards in-person worship, we could look towards things opening up again. And then all of a sudden this next spike came. So keep that in your prayers. Today I have quite the list of prayers, so I'm going to go through them a little quicker. Rick Steffens, we want to keep him in his prayers as he continues radiation. Diane Budding as she is continuing her chemo. Margaret Henderson and family as they continue to mourn the loss of Jack and as they remember him. Of course, the heat. We have a lot of people that have to work outside from mail carriers to garbage collectors to construction workers to the farmers that this heat is daunting and can really wane a person's strength. The COVID workers, continue to keep them in your prayers as they strive for that vaccine, that miracle that will happen so that we can truly get back together person to person. All those that are dealing with isolation, we want to continue to keep Ann's brother John in our prayers as he continues to battle his stage four lung cancer. Jan Carsonson as she continues to recover at Simpson from her broken arm. Amy, Tom's cousin who had surgery yesterday and is now recovering. And the newest one, the one that probably a lot of more prayers, Janelle Dietz, uh, let me know this morning that her boyfriend, Terry Simmons, I'm guessing I'm pronouncing that right, had a heart attack and had to have surgery today uh, to correct that. So keep Terry and Janelle and their families in your prayers as this is a, a stressful time because of course they can't really be there to visit and do all the hand-holding that they would normally do. So with all of that upon our hearts and all of that on our minds, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, today... I ask that you pour out your Holy Spirit upon those of us gathered around our devices, in our homes, our living rooms, our cars, wherever it is that this message finds us. Lord, fill us. Fill us with your joy. Help us to realize that we can be joy-filled even in the hard times. We can be joy-filled even in the midst of isolation and separation in the midst of worry and fretting. Lord, we can be filled with your joy. Lord, help us to continue to love, to continue to give sacrificially. Lord, we ask that you pour out your spirit upon those that we've listed today, those that are recovering, those that are in surgery, those that are dealing with radiation and chemotherapy and other treatments for diseases of the body, Lord, we ask that you be with those that are dealing with issues of the mind and the heart. These are hard times. Lord, we ask that you pour out your cool spirit upon those laboring in the heat. Today I ask, Lord, that you continue to watch over those who are the least, those that are doing without, those that are homeless and hungry, without medical care, without a place to permanently rest. Lord, be with those friends and family that are in the care centers, that are missing their families, that miss the regularity of visitation. Lord, be with those who care for those who are ill, those who are treating those who are in the hospital, those that are seeking out a way to vaccinate us from 
this virus. But Lord, I also ask that you pour out your spirit upon those serving everywhere. Police, firemen, EMTs, grocery store workers, mailmen, all those that have to deal with the evil of this world, the heat of this world, the viruses of this world, those that can't stay safe, those that have to venture out. Lord, help protect them. Lord, help us to protect each other. Remind us to do what is diligent in wearing our mask and keeping our distance. Lord, help us to love sacrificially, to welcome your joy unconditionally, and to continue to communicate with you unceasingly. So, Lord, hear our prayer now. Speak to us. Move us. Help us. Show us the way forward. Lord, we thank you for all that you've done, the miracles that we have already claimed, the things that are you doing in secret that we will be revealed to us at some point in time and we can proclaim your glory. And for the miracles, Lord, that we haven't even thought to ask for that will be coming our way. We ask all of this in your precious name. Amen. Amen. As we leave this time, I would remind you that we have a mission ongoing silent auction. Check that out on the website. Uh, that ends this Sunday. I will let you know it's now going to end at 9 o'clock so that the 7 o'clock service has one last chance to be reminded and to go and bid. So check on the things that you've bid on to uh, see if you've been outbid and uh, you can uh, raise that bid up. But I would also remind you to take some time to find a way to spread God's joy, to spread God's love, to spread God's spirit to those around you. Now, as yesterday, I have a question for you to ponder in your life over the next 24 hours as we look at the spirit of God and that fruits. And the question to ask yourself is, am I experiencing a joy of life on a regular basis or is my happiness dependent on things going smoothly in my day? So in other words, are you able to focus on God's joy and the life and the, that he brings to your life? Or is it so bound up in having a perfect day, in having a time of connection with one another? So keep that in mind. Try to embrace God's joy. And remember, God loves you. Ann and I love you. And there is nothing you can do about it. May God's peace be with you. May the joy of Christ be in you. Amen.